Here you go, sir. Tell your friends. Can I? This is not listening. Yes, it is. You said help people. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I said listen to the universe. Kevin is a guy, he's sort of adrift in his life at this moment that we meet him. He's He's gone through a very, very rough patch and uh, he's moved back in with his sister and his niece to sort of heal and, and lick his wounds. And um, through a series of strange events, including a meteor strike um, near his house, he wakes up and all of a sudden there's a woman appearing to him that nobody else can see who says she's a warrior from God and that he's been tasked to basically save all of humanity. Um, and so that's where we start and um, it's a very funny, strange show that also has uh, some moments that make you make you feel a little something in there. At least it did when I was reading it. And um, and yeah, so there's there's a lot of sort of hope and but there's also, you know, He's going through something uh, um, difficult, but uh, yeah, it's like a fun uh, dramedy type of show. I have a PhD. Yeah, the U.S. government, they call me and they ask me about things. Congratulations, you're still nuts. One of the things that I that I really loved about seeing some of the reactions online to the show is people going, I didn't think that this was going to be my kind of show, but I guess it is. I guess it kind of is. I can't really explain it, but... Um, and I think one of the one of the reasons is I don't think it's a show that ever sort of talks down to people or goes or says this is how you should feel, you know. Um, even though we're in this world where there's a um, you know a warrior for God and saving humanity and all of these sort of fantastical elements, it's still sort of grounded in um, in real people.